Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome mid-profile bunkhouse fifth wheel. This is a 2021 Forest River Impression model 290VB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a uh, industry disruptor, the Forest River Impression. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited to take a look at this impression. It's one of like two um, really exciting new units for 2022. Yes. Or 2021. Sorry. Yes. Um, the other is the Keystone Arcadia. Which, which we did right yesterday. There. Yep. And so we'll have the link to that down below in the description. Which one do you like better? I don't know. Let's see the impression and we'll, we'll answer that at the end. The impression just makes such a great impression it on does. us. It does. Will? Let's begin. All right. Model is Impression 290 VB. But the actual tip to tip height of this fifth wheel is 36 feet, three inches. The dry weight is 8,990 pounds. And will the hitch weight? 2,000 pounds even. Remember, it's not necessarily about how much you can tow. It's about that pin weight in the bed of your truck. That's right. Up front here, we have a painted fiber front, fiberglass front cap with a windshield and will. That font where it says impression. Uh-huh. Do you know what that looks like? No, what? Look at me, look at me. It, and leave down in the comments below. Doesn't that look like Return of the Jedi font from oh, uh, yeah, Star Wars, kind of. right? Uh, or was it Return of the Jedi or another one? I don't know. Nice big windshield right up there. Right here, we have a Rhino box right there by Lippert Components. And then underneath here, we have storage. Again, not prep for a generator. I'm not mad about that on a mid-profile unit. And right there, we have your spare tire carrier. Coming on down the side here, speakers right here, prep for TV on the outside. Very decent storage. You know, not as nice as yesterday's, but again, this is what I expect on a mid-profile. Yeah. We've got a battery disconnect right here, and then, whoa, look at this. America. America. Hell yeah, beer opener right there. And then you do have four point electric leveling jacks, okay? Right here, we do have our Lipper component solid steps. I love those. A huge power awning with LED lights and there's no slide outs on this side. That's nice. Right over here is a little camp kitchen setup, right? Yep. Very interesting, very it's a little unique. griddle. Yes, sir. Aluminum structure, extended season camping package, means it has the heated and closed underbelly with Heating pads under the tanks. And then look at these tires. Well, there's a good year endurance tires. I love those. ST225-75R15 with Dexter axles right there. Did you touch on the awning? I did. Okay. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Coming around the back, we ha do have a hitch, not prepped for towing. It is a 300 pound of vertical weight hitch back there. Right there, that's where you store your sewer hose for your stinky slinky, and it is prepped for a Furion backup camera there. Finishing up. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Don't forget to unlock it. Dang it, Abbott. Give me a second, folks. Keep on showing stuff, Will. All right. Not much else on this side. Got the uh, water heater right there. Storage weapon right there with the potable water. Potable, potable. <laughs> and then check this out. This is a door here that opens up into the bunk room and there is D-rings there and there to tie That's stuff cool. down for transit and no slide outs in this bunk room. Did we do this one? No, I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> cool, mm -hmm. and you got that other stuff? Um, Yeah, I think most of it, I, yeah. What about the propane? Other than the propane, yeah. Okay, and your propane is right here. There you go. Well, well, the outside of the fifth wheel oh, looks... Oh, and the dump tanks were right there. Yep, well, there's another one right there as well in a bad position. Oh, I didn't see that, that one. Tank. Yep. Well, well, the outside of the fifth wheel looks great. 
but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. All right, you got the bedroom up front here. Yes, sir. Bathroom right here. Uh-huh. I mean, comparing this to the Arcadia, both are great. They are. I'm actually really glad we sell both. Yep. Kitchen, living area, dining area, and the bunk room in the back. Here's where we're going to start, Well, Very okay. nice bunk room. There's no lights on in here. Oh, you're right. This is amazing. Again, we love that door. We got storage right here. Okay. And look at that. That's where the TV goes. Right over here, I love this. Um, the kids can sit there and play video games and everything. And what I get worried about is that the kids might bump their head on the bed, though. Oh, doesn't... Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's why I love the fact that it does that. Now, yeah. it did get dark in here because of that. Right. But look at this. Now, this is a big room. Kids aren't going to hit their head. And that's a space light. saver. That is a space saver right there. And you got power and USB right here. Very nice. There you go. There we go. I love that. Yep. Over and that here. turns into a nice big bed, too. Yep. Over here in the living room area, we do have carpet on the slide out. Uh oh. Uh, right here is your sofa. It is a tri cushion sofa. I love the light walls. I love the bright walls. The valances look good, too. And we do have nice slow rise privacy shades. And then across. Is your Furion everything? Yeah, I love that they do that. Furion TV, sound bar, fireplace, so nice. And we do have storage right there and there as well. And then over here is our in odd uh, dining room table. You have your chairs on this side and an ottoman slash bench seat on this side. I love this for bigger people like me and Will. Right. Plenty of room. Plenty of room right there. Little tabletop extension. You got your coat hangers there. I love the way these valances look. And this light is very... Art Deco. No. Oh. Well. Well, Will. It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is... Damn. Makes it hard. Same price as that one. Is it? $53,494 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see here, we can't advertise the sale price uh, because it is a 2021. But will. It doesn't matter what the sale price is, was, or will be. We will always be able to get people the best price in America. Yep. Tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to general RV. Somebody will get you back with you and get you the best price in America, and you will get a $500 Matt Cash coupon. If you have questions about this motorhome, click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you ASAP. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Sounds good. So we'll start up here with the kitchen. Yes. We've got some nice storage up top right there. Uh-huh. And <clears throat> coming over here, they did continue with the Furion appliances as well. Love it. Yeah, very nice. So a little microwave there. Furion range hood right there. Hood range. Nice window on your campsite to let some light in and a backsplash there. I like that backsplash. Yeah, I do too. Three burner Furion cooktop with Ooh, the blue lights. Blue. And uh, oven and drawer down below. Yes, sir. Um, not solid surface countertops in this one, but you got um, some, you know, decent counter space, some drawers right there. Yes, sir. Nice single bowl sink. With yes, a sir. Spray thing. Yep. And the rack, and uh -huh. then storage down below. Yes. Over here, you got a nice Furion fridge as well. It is a compressor fridge. Yes. And then we got storage above there. We sure do. We yes, forgot sir. about this storage. Too. I know. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I know. And we got storage above there. 
We sure do. Perfect. Well, well, it's now time for the tall test. All right. Do you see that? Pre-wired for the uh, Furion solar panel. Oh, so it doesn't have it already. Yeah, but I like how it's pre-wired for so it. So do I, yeah. All right. Wow. Was not ex okay. Oh. Uh, oh. It's not bad. I, I are we passing or, or are we net neutraling it? Neutral. Okay. Neutral. Yeah. Not a pass, not a fail. I love the size. I love how low that is. Yes. Um. And again, half of it, he's good. The other half, he's not. Right, so. they should have just shifted that over, yep. made it a little bigger. Or they should have just made it the whole thing. Yep. Over here, you do have a medicine cabinet right here. Nice little sink area, vanity, storage underneath, towel holder and everything. And then the toilet, porcelain. Let's take a break for a second. Will, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Cool. And then, come on down. Okay. And we'll go to yeah. the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, you gotta go down more, sorry. Okay. Oops. Ah, so this has the north-south bed. Yes. Okay, right here is storage. And it is prepped for the stackable washer dryer. Very nice. Right over here. We do have this cabinetry right there and the cabinetry right there. there with a little bit more below it and it's the same on this side. Uh, and then right here we have the privacy curtain right there. Oh, I don't know why, but it looks great. Oh, and this one only has the one oh, AC yeah. prep for the second AC unit where the other one did have two. It did. Okay, interesting. Well, Will, and a TV goes right there. What about the bad design ah. stuff? Certainly, does. certainly does. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, <sighs> it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love. Dislikes. Dislike? Okay. Yes. Uh, you ready to go first or me? Um, you can go first. Carpet in the bedroom, carpet yep. on the slide out. Not a fan of that, never will be a fan of that, just not a fan of that. Yep. That's one. Let me go last actually. Okay, so number my two. My dislike is gonna lead into my like. Ah, okay. So number one was that. I couldn't find a number two. Um, number two dislike? Yeah, do you have a number two? I'll combo it, cause it's like little things. Yeah. Um, I wish that they had done solid surface countertops. Could have, would have, should have, yep. And at this price point, the second AC I 110% agree. Yep. Okay, so that's number two. Okay. And then number three. So number three is going to be the shower. Really? Yeah, because it's, like you said, it's net neutral, but it is a fifth wheel. And fifth yep. wheels are larger. They should, you know, usually pass. Um, and they were, like, so close. Like, yep. even if they, I feel like it would have been better if they turned that. Yep. So that's my dislike, but it leads into my like, which part of the reason that it is smaller is because ah, uh, I like that they have this nice big closet in here and that it's prepped for washer dryer. I love that. Yep. You're 100% right, Will. I love that feature and it's awesome. So that's number one and I do have two and three. Okay. Number two, no, number three, no, number two, I love this back bedroom area. Oh yeah. It's huge, it's nice. I love this door. I love the D-rings. I love the beds that flip up out of the way. This is awesome. And there's no slide outs in here. Right. And since the beds flip up, it still feels super spacious. It does, spacious. yep. So that's two. And you ready for number three? Yep. I love the Furion appliances, right? We've said this before, we'll say it again. I love how the fact that uh, when something breaks, not if something breaks, you know who to call. It's not Magic Chef this, Suplex that, Sam Sui this, it's all one manufacturer. And, Will, do you know what we did? What? I saved something for only the people who watched the whole video. You're not <laughs> gonna wanna miss this. And check it out. Whenever somebody comments and says, Matt, you forgot the so-and-so behind the entertainment, you comment to them, let them know that next time they need to watch the whole video. That's right. <laughs> Look at this. Oh! Isn't so that awesome? awesome? Yep. Secret storage. I absolutely love this feature. This makes it so cool. It's like a hidden room. I think that is the coolest thing ever in history. Right. And it only 
was able to be seen by about 36% of the viewers. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking around and watching. And thank you. That's right. And if you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call, text, send us an email. Fifth wheel. Fifth wheel. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, we're going to have a video to that Arcadia right there. Because they're both great units and you should check them both out. Right. Well, is there anything you want to say? Of course. All right, guys. I really hope you like this unit. Again, I just love how they're really changing things for um, fifth wheels and RVs in general. Yep. They're just really trying something new, I feel like. And I think a lot of you guys are going to like it. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Let us know your thoughts between the Impression and the Arcadia. Which one you like better. Um, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And well, we'll see you next time.